So let's take a look at a typical enterprise network, or let's call it an example of a network, uh, enterprise network. The most important part here is that this is just an example. So I'm showing here an example of a large retail with about like a thousand shops. They have several branch offices. And we can see that the network architecture in this case gives you direct connectivity between the different uh, branch offices. It gives you direct connectivity between the branch office to some cloud services. But the retail shops are all connected through a hub, maybe more than one hub. And the hubs are connected to the branch offices and to various services in the cloud. And this can be public clouds, can be specific applications like Salesforce and Microsoft and others, and can be a private cloud of that enterprise. All of this is orchestrated through the central management. And again, the beauty of it is that you can change configuration, change the architecture of the network in the central management, and by that, change the architecture and be much more agile.